There's no bigger pain in the butt than to have to get stuck in the back of your FJ and having to wiggle up front just to leave. So this is a great mod and easy to do. So first, go ahead and uh, get that back window open, otherwise you can't get that back panel off. So start there and then you'll um, start to take apart the back panel. There's two little guides um, for the window. Just pop those off, they come off really easy. And then you'll take the caps off of the right and left. And again, those are pretty easy to pull off. And there's also one other cap very below, which is an access hole. Then pull off the two screws behind the access caps, the right and left access cap. And I use a screwdriver with some tape on it to pop off the, the panel. The panel is held on with just some basic clips. Uh, chance of the clips breaking is pretty high, but luckily they're cheap. If they don't stay in the panel itself, they'll stay in the door. Uh, the uh, plastic is kept on with this goo, and I will tell you, it gets all over everything, so wear gloves. I was stupid and didn't wear gloves. And here's a photo of the panel after it's op uh, opened. And you can see the rod there, it's bent, that goes, uh, that's actually the unlocking mechanism. So what we're gonna do is literally just take a steel rod and connect it to that, um, drill a hole, and that will be our unlocking mechanism. So you can see how that one bends upwards towards the, the top, drill a hole, connect it with one of these guys, um, and then just tighten it in, or have it in there nice and tight, and then um, here's a picture of the hole. So I drilled that out and then put some, uh, just some basic car paint around it. And here's me just bending the shit out of the, the steel rod. And uh, pretty much have to just kind of keep playing it. You go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until eventually it's the right shape um, that it goes up into the hole and sits snugly uh, with the mechanism uh, so it doesn't rattle or, or bend on its own or rub up against anything. So pretty much after I was settled with it, I cut it off um, where it should be. I think it, uh, yeah, here's, and that's the overall shape. So 16 inches long is a quarter inch steel rod. And you can see the goofy shape of it, but it works. And here I'm just drilling a hole into the panel itself. Um, behind the panel is a um, foam that you just have to kind of cut away. And I think I used a razor blade and just clean that up. You do need to take quite a bit of it, of it away, otherwise the rod does um, slide along it and impedes on the unlocking. And then pretty much, um, just to make it clean, I did sand it down and also just made it clean. was finished I actually ended up putting a little plastic grommet type thing under around it just to make it look more attractive this is just me putting the rod in there and me finally putting it together you can see that paper flying all over the place, the plastic it gets that that goo on everything if you're not careful. There's a little connector there. It is a bit of a pain in the butt to get that connector inside the door and, um, and use a wrench to actually get it all together. Obviously, it should be tight. So 
At one point I did have it spray painted at the top until I realized later that um, it was going to stick to the this little um, plastic piece that I ended up finding in my plumbing box. So I did pull all that glue off of there, or the, the glue, well the glue as well, but I pulled the glue and the paint off of there. So I did put the panel back on, um, and at this point I'm just kind of testing it out, making sure it all works well. You can see the little plumbing piece that I put on top, and that worked really well. It's not only on there snug enough to stay on there, but it's uh, removable, so when the day comes I need to reopen my panel, I can actually just pull that off. And I uh, don't have to worry about it staying on. This is me actually fiddling with the door to make sure it opens and closes okay. It did stick for a little while, and I think I might have to go back in and make that hole a little bit bigger, but uh, this is me from the inside. It's locked and then unlock and then slamming it shut just to make sure it closes and it works just fine. So we'll see how well it works uh, the next camping trip. But now it'll be nice to actually be able to exit out the back door. Well, I hope you uh, learned something. I learned a lot by doing this. Be advised that there's a trillion ways of doing this. This is the way I did it and the way I was taught how to do it on the forums. Uh, so there might be a different way of doing it, an easier way of doing it, or just a different idea. Uh, so leave a comment. Maybe somebody can learn from your uh, mistakes or your comments. So thanks for watching.